What a night that we have. And the first envelope I got back was from the University of Saskatchewan. And I love, I have family in Saskatchewan. I love that province, but it has the uh, lowest ranked MBA school. And so when I got that, I was like, this is bad news for the other 12 envelopes on the way. And so I lovingly got 11 other skinny little envelopes. And my 12th uh, and final envelope, my 13th envelope was um, from Western. And it was fat and big and manila. And I was like, this is the mistake I've been waiting for. <laughs> and I was like, wow, what, really? That's all you gotta say? And I was so shocked and enlightened because I have all of those things. I have a family that loves me. And I have a family, and they challenge me every day. Now, how do they do that? Well, it's simple. They drive me crazy. <laughs> I wanted to punch the cancer, but how do you punch cancer that's growing in the back of your daughter's brain? You can't, right? So then I wanted to, I wanted to punch the doctors. But how can you punch the doctors? They were the ones that were going to come along and save my daughter's life. Then I wanted to kick into submission the government, whose, whose, uh, whose protocol is so lackluster in childhood cancer that is, it's absolutely ridiculous. But there was no one person to connect my, uh, my fist to. So, you know, with all this energy built up inside me, inevitably, it all, I just turned all that energy in and I started I started beating myself up. Have you ever felt that absolute anger where your, your stomach's in knots? You're exhausted, but why are you exhausted? Because you've been busy, 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 at least that was me, doing what everybody told me to do. And I realized none of it was making sense for me. It wasn't my mentor's fault on that particular day. <laughs> <laughs> but I just realized I needed to ditch that good little soldier. I don't know if any of you have ever been a good little soldier, but I was a good little soldier. I don't know why I just like wearing shorts, but when you're in New York, that doesn't really go over as well. So I have shorts and a t-shirt. I have about 14 sets of those. I've got them all over me. Like people are trying to get around us and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's just an absolute mess. We couldn't even afford a cab. Like, let's just do the subway. I'm like, okay, this should be interesting. We have all these equalizers. And my business partners always used to like to say to me, he always used to look at me and he said, do you want to keep going? Nope. <laughs> and I'm not even naturally blonde. <laughs> and so we're looking and we're looking and time is passing and I'm so mortified and he keeps looking and he finally says, well, my goodness, I... Boy, I don't see anything like it. And I said, neither do I. I said, oh, my soul. I'm so embarrassed. I just remembered I walked. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Sorry.